passed by his garden and marked with one eye how the owl and the panther were sharing a pie. The panther took pie crust and gravy and meat, while the owl had the dish as its share of the treat. When the pie was all finished, the owl, as a boon, was kindly permitted to pocket the spoon, while the panther received knife and fork with a growl and concluded the banquet by... This is a story about a man named Enoch who heard on good authority that the world was about to end either in fire or water. He said, I'll build two towers, one proof against fire, the other proof against water. And he gathered up all the knowledge of the world and he hid the books and scrolls and papers in the fireproof tower. Then he made a copy of each and every one and he hid those in the waterproof tower, and he now thought to himself, the world will surely end in fire, I myself will stay in the fireproof tower. What about the other tower, filled with all the knowledge of the world? It's still there.
story about the little bird of the dead. And everyone in the kingdom was terrified of this little bird. Because this little bird could forgive you. And you fly overhead would give people a prediction. The prediction was always a prediction. Disaster. So, one day a little bird might say, there's going to be a terrible plague. One day a little bird might say, there's going to be a famine and trouble. And then one day, worst of all, there's going to be a terrible war. There's nothing any of you can do about it. Many of you are going to die. Just able to die. Some people say, what can we do? The little bird is the future. The little bird is always right. One guy, he said, I'm going to go over the mountain with a little bird. I'm going to talk. Maybe it's something we can do. And so he did. He took his spear and he climbed up on the mountain where the little bird lives. And he found him. What do you want? Does there have to be a war? Asked the guy. Yes. Why? Because I say so. We'll see about that, says the man. And he grew the spear of the little bird and killed it. And he came down to the mountain. And when he got to the bottom, he found out that there was no one. And ever since that time, no one blamed the bird. Thank you.